Delhi woke up to a smoky morning. The aftermath of Diwali festivities, pollution has peaked in the national capital with smoke from firecrackers affecting not just the visibility but also the air quality. Already on the brink, Delhi's foul air turned deadly. A day after Diwali celebrations. A thick smog hung over the national capital on Monday, bringing down visibility levels. Delhi's pollution levels reached scary limits, 17 times higher than the safety levels. Real-time data from various stations of the Delhi Pollution Control Committee and Central Pollution Control Board showed the worst air pollution levels were at RK Puram, Anand Vihar and Punjabi Bagh. Respiratory pollutants were at perilous levels, raising serious health concerns. Lungs get affected directly, which is very obvious, and uh, that since you are breathing, this particle is going there. But there is indirect effect on other organs, particularly cardiovascular system. So one, uh, there are increased incidences of heart attacks and cardiac interventions recorded. For politicians, though, it's just the same old rhetoric. For Delhi, high pollution levels are not new, but this Diwali was the worst in terms of pollution as lack of winds meant that the harmful firecracker emissions stayed over the capital. Bureau Report, India Today. The visibility has been reduced to just a few meters. Let's uh, take a reality check of what, it, what the situation is like right now. We've got my colleague Ilma Hassan joining us from Akshardham that sees a lot of traffic what do you find at Akshardham? What is the pollution level there right now like? It's been over 24 hours since the Diwali celebrations in the city. Padmaja, I'm standing at the Akshardham flyover right now and Akshardham flyover is... Uh, the Akshardham temple is on my right and visibility is very low here. It's just a few meters away from me but you can't even see it clearly because of the smog and haze that has enveloped Delhi since last night. You know, uh, air quality was really bad last night. Even this morning, it was almost 15 to 20 times higher than what is the permissible limit. I'm going to show you real time what the air quality is right now. If you take a good look at my mobile phone right here, Padmaja, you can see that air quality is 559, which is almost 12 times higher than what air quality is supposed to be. If you take look at Lodi Road here, even in Lodi Road, it's 500, which is 10 times higher than it was supposed to be. Clearly, major health risk for Delhiites, Padmaja. And what are the major reasons behind it? Because this time the government had said, the Delhi government had said, they are taking a number of measures, there'd be humidifiers, which would ensure that the smoke and the smog was somehow, somewhat brought under control. Did that work? Clearly not, because this time the pollution levels are much higher than last year even. Exactly. They had said that they will take a check on it, keep a tab on it. They'd be uh, looking at air quality throughout the night. It was at its worst from about 9 p.m. to 3 a.m. yesterday. Even this morning it was bad. But one of the major problems with the smog still staying in Delhi is the fact that there are low winds. There's a lot of humidity as well. So the smog hasn't been able to go and it's still here almost uh, 12 to 13 hours after all the crackers have stopped bursting, Padmaja. All right, Ilma, thanks very much uh, for joining us uh, with that real-time data from Akshardham and Lodhi Road. At least we are hoping that few of the steps which have been suggested will be implemented between now and next Diwali. Hopefully, we'll have breathable air at least in the next festival season. The super pollution which descended on Delhi is taking a heavy toll on our health as well. So you enjoy one day, but you don't realize the toll it is taking on the health of you and your children. Thousands of residents are suffering from serious bouts of respiratory ailments after the plunge in the capital's air quality.
Delhi is choking and so are its residents. A rising pollution level has sparked a massive spike in respiratory ailments. Delhiites are increasingly finding it difficult to breathe as air quality worsens. Thousands of Delhiites are flocking to hospitals with aggravated asthma, bronchitis and impaired lung infection. Aggravated mostly after the Wali night. Residents like Harkaran and Devendra are having trouble breathing after the Wali fireworks. कल रात से मैं करीब 11 बजे से सोना स्टार्ट किया तो मेरे को बड़ी परेशानी आई गले में एकदम खरांस और खांसी के साथ मतलब नींद आने एकदम बेचैनी सी महसूस होने लगी आई वॉज देयर आउटसाइड माई होम आई स्टार्ट देर वॉज कम्प्लीटली ब्रेथलेसनेस एंड आई स्टार्ट वॉकिंग अप आई वॉज गोइंग अप टू माई होम एंड देर वॉज पेन इन माई चेस्ट सो आई बिलीव दिस इज बिकॉज ऑफ द पोल्यूशन मेट दी डॉक्टर एंड यस एज पर दी डॉक्टर As per the doctor as well, this is all because of pollution level which has which has gone up due to this Diwali crackers and all. Diwali time pollution has been made worse by hazardous mix of automobile pollution and smoke from farm fires in Punjab and Haryana. Experts say prolonged exposure to ultra fine particulate matters can cause irreversible lung damage. Lungs get affected directly, which is very obvious, and uh, that since your breathing is particles going there, but there is indirect effect on other organs, particularly cardiovascular system. So one, uh, there are increased incidences of heart attacks and cardiac interventions recorded. There is no end in sight to Delhi's healthcare emergency. The only precaution that Delhiites can take is to exercise caution and keep themselves protected from the wave of super pollution. With Roshni Thokne and Ilma Hasan in Delhi, Bureau Report, India Today. Here on here, we know what the problem is, but what is the solution, and are these solutions practical? We spoke to uh, Sunita Narayan from Centre for Science and Environment earlier. Here is what she told us. I think the government is just not serious about air pollution. Let's be very clear. It hurts me to say it, pains me to say it, but that's the hard fact of it. How many times has the chief minister called a meeting on air pollution in the months after winter? How many times has the deputy chief minister called a meeting to ask what is the status on actions that needed to be taken on air pollution? Has any new bus come to the city? Has any effort been made to control dieselization in the city? What has the Delhi government do to stop the trucks coming in? Has the chief minister called a meeting? with the chief ministers of haryana and punjab to find a answer to crop burning by farmers these are questions that you should ask these are questions that every citizen of delhi must ask in fact the story is pretty much the same across delhi we are showing you images from central west and south and east delhi in fact anand vihar in the east you've got punjabi bag uh, in the west uh, rajpath in central delhi and everywhere you see the spall of smoke uh, early in the morning in fact india gate was barely visible there was huge traffic snarls everywhere because of the extremely poor visibility and remember november hasn't even begun yet <laughs> 